All right, I'm heading off to go get scraped. So actually one of my boot campers, one of my uh, one of our members, Morag Anderson, she is an RMT and she specializes in Graston. So basically what Graston is, it's like that, uh, the tool, like the, basically it looks like a little handheld piece of bone, like that was the old school way. And um, so you use to scrape a muscle. So instead of using like a foam roller or a lacrosse ball, it's just a different technique for myofascial release. So apparently it sucks and it hurts a whole ton. And since I'm such a wimp, I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but it's also really good for you. So in my forever quest to experience everything to do with fitness and health and then become more knowledgeable in every area, I figure I should probably bite the bullet and try it. So we'll see how much I whimper and cry on camera or if it's actually really good. But uh, all right, well, we're gonna head to the basement. She's actually bringing her table right into my gym. So I have literally no excuse not to do it. Let's hope I don't uh, cry on camera. Oh, baby. <sighs> If this isn't extreme, it's scream excitement, I don't know what does. Oh, nothing like getting beat up on a Sunday afternoon. I feel like massages are like that weird kind of like almost sadistic feel good. So this would be like worse. I almost got you! What's up, man? How old are you? I'm I have them hidden under a thing. So people don't see them. It looks like we're having like a surgery. It does, eh? Sterile surgery. All right, guys, I'm here with Morig. Uh, so Morig Anderson. So like I said, she's one of our boot campers here, one of our members, a uh, long time member now, and seen some crazy good results. So Morig, obviously, thank you for doing this. Thanks for having me here. Uh, I say thank you, but I almost feel like it's kind of like, like <laughs> thanking the person to like torture you before this actually happens. So what do I have here in store? I saw you like, it's, it's like I'm watching you put your torture tools out. So like, what do we, uh, what do we got here? So these are uh, instruments. Um, they are Grassman instrument, instruments. Um, so what they are used for is, uh, Grassman is a technique, it's instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization. So what we do is utilize these tools which have different beveled edges. Uh, some are concave, some are convex, and we utilize them on soft tissue and joints on the body to increase mobilization, decrease dysfunction, um, when people have restrictions uh, or adhesions in the muscle. The grass is used for just about everything and anything. So how is this going to differ from massage therapy? Um, so one of the great things about the instruments is that uh, they utilize, there's like, because they're so well made, Grass is about like 25 years old, so they've been fine-tuning these these tools and instruments for about 25 years People getting now. tortured for 25 years. 25 years. Um, well, and before that, even more so. Uh, but <laughs> uh, what the tools allow us to do is it finds, there's it reverbs back into the tools, so when, as we're using it as a kind of a palpation tool, we can find all of those adhesions and things that uh, dysfunction in the muscle uh, and in joints, ligaments, and things like that. Uh, it's a great tool to utilize for, uh, kind of, I don't want to say diagnose things, but it helps us kind of get to the root problem of okay. some things uh, and find out things that may be causing you restriction. Um, so I like to couple it with massage therapy because um, it also will help me with the longevity yeah. of my hands. I was going to say, so you obviously you, you came through some massage therapy was the original. Uh, yeah and then you add this on, so like this isn't something that every massage service can do, correct? No, it's not. So in order to do Graston, you actually have to go through the Graston course and purchase the Graston tools, which is a, yeah. it's a huge investment for me. It was, uh, it was a necessity. Yes. Um, I, the first time I encountered Graston was about six years ago. Um, I had plantar fasciitis on both feet, uh, which made it incredibly painful to walk, yeah, to get yeah. out of bed. Um, so I went to my chiropractor who utilized Graston. I asked him if there was anything that he could do to help me and he brought out these tools and within six weeks... Boy, do I have something for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, within six weeks I saw, I had saw him multiple times a week. Yeah. Um, I was essentially bruised from the knee down yeah. for, for most of that time. Um, but. Uh, six years now, and I don't have plantar fasciitis, and I just never come back. And I was gonna say, I think one of the things that's so intimidating is, is the fact that you, obviously after treatment, I've seen other people, so like yeah. you know, Mike, one trainers, and obviously trainers you as well, um, it, it physically looks like you've just been literally just beat right up. Obviously the, the, the tissue, the soft tissue has been completely yeah. destroyed, and it's very flushed, and you can see some of that bruising. But I think that intimidates a lot of people. Because I mean, everyone kind of jokes that, oh my God, you're so sore. I'm gonna find it today. Yeah. And also, for, I am also a huge wimp. I'm gonna say that right now. It's the first time. So you know, the first time you go on the roller coaster, the, 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 it's the scariest. Oh my God. Oh God. Ah! Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah. So 
uh, we'll have to see how this So, uh, some people have different reactions. Some people tend to bruise easily to begin with. Um, and, like, for example, I bruise super easy. Um, I get dinged in the shin by the deadlift bar, and I've got a bruise for weeks. Yes. Um, some people do not bruise easily. Uh, usually what comes up, there is some bruising, but it is blood flow. Okay. Um, so, the instruments and how they're utilized, it increases blood flow to the area and it kind of creates an inflammation and you want the inflammation. Not all inflammation is bad. Correct. You want that inflammation because it's bringing blood to the area, it's circulating blood, it's circulating the inflammation. With the inflammation comes all the fibroblasts and nutrients uh, to help with healing. Yeah. So it's actually beneficial. So not all inflammation is bad. Um, but yeah, I, I utilize this with, uh, for example, I have clients where I do work, whether on their abdomen, uh, on the mastectomy scars and things yeah. like that. Um, yeah. So it can go, it just depends on what we find. Uh, just depends on how intense it is. Yeah. Um, so if people, if people are not moving a lot, so if they have a lot of immobility in their life, it's gonna be a little bit harder on them. Um, it's also, massage is sometimes harder on them. But when you get somebody who is active, um, not I'm not saying like coming in like an athlete, you know, like although I do train, a lot, I do work with a lot of yeah. athletes, but um, there's different responses. Everybody has a different response. It's the same thing when somebody goes through a core boot camp, yeah. everybody's going to have a different response. Some people are going to tap out halfway through and some people are going to ask for more. Why they would ask for more core boot yeah, camp, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but. it's something like, something like, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if, you, if you're okay. I was hoping to get a little, like I said, so maybe like my trap. I mean, yeah. uh, Rack pull, couple, I say a week and a half, go two weeks, I'm still feeling some after effects of it, okay. uh, just maybe a maximal pull. So I don't know if that's an area that you can maybe take a peek at and see if that's really needed. Yeah. And then I'm sure like that you've even told me before, a lot of times you go into a massage thinking you need a special area done, and yeah. all of a sudden like, something else you're possible. gonna find something else. And that's Probably. why I trust you uh, fully in that area, so. Okay, so what I will do is you have You've got full range of motion oh, yeah. of your yeah. shoulder, yeah. No, no pain. Uh, I mean, just, none other than just, just general movement, just and, uh, movement. Yeah. and tightness. Yeah, sometimes okay. discomfort as I am actually doing a pull or something like that, or like okay. anything unilateral. I can yeah. sometimes feel on the opposite side. So okay. I know I've done a bit of a number on my body, but uh, it's awesome to see. Okay, so what we're going to do is I bought the. We're using emollient uh, when okay. we're doing this because uh, it's not comfortable on dry skin. That it, would make sense. Know, so you have to utilize, use a minimalient. Uh, so I brought the stuff with arnica. You're going to lube me up? Lube, lube me up? <laughs> lube you up. So we do have... Just slide around. Uh, slide. <laughs> oh, shit. So we do have... So the tools are... I always say to people, I'm like, I'm going to use the baby tool on you first. So this okay. is always like the first tool we utilize. Um, to kind of see what we're finding. Start softening me up? Soften you up, well, you oh, know, great. like kind of warm up the butter and then uh, and then we move on and on to the real, to the big guys. To the real stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're getting so. smaller and smaller with each one. So I guess uh, size doesn't so, actually matter. <laughs> size. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll see, size doesn't necessarily matter. Yeah, yeah, in this case. Yeah. You ready to rock and roll? I guess so. So, okay. face down, face up, my sitting. So, like what I'm actually going to get you to do is we're going to get you to sit on the end of the table. Okay. Hopefully. Okay, we'll find out. It doesn't fall on me. That's the blooper reel. Uh, yeah. That would be the blooper. Yes, that would be amazing. So I, uh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm trying I to see if I can get a good angle. I always put it on my arm. Just okay. Most people put it on their hands, but yeah. Do you? So, I trust you wholeheartedly. Okay. It's like the drum roll moment where I'm going to find out. So these tools tend to heat up a little. They're, they're cold right now, so I'm trying to warm up. Oh, no, don't <laughs> worry with that. It so might it's actually be cold. Okay. So we kind of. All right. You ready? No, but we're gonna find out what happens. <laughs> I like how Mike over there is like cackling behind me because he knows you've done this it for. Eh? This is for everybody you've trained who wants to pay you back. I know, right? Well, it feels like a metal tool scraping along my body. So far, it's okay. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but you're soft. So we're going to your trap. So as you know, how's like how you doing? A one. A one. Right I on. feel like it's like rubbing a dull razor along my body, but. Okay. <laughs> so as you know, the trap comes from all the way here. Yep, we're coming out to your elbow, and then we're coming down. So we're gonna kind of focus a little bit more on the upper trap today. People pay you for this? Oh Thank my you. god. Um, I have quite a few clients that come uh, weekly, a couple times a week. <laughs> Um, this is actually really well utilized. Um, 
a lot of clients powerlifting, bodybuilding. Yep. Um, specifically because it helps with, um, with all the training they do. Um, so as you can see here, we've already... It's already started to get we're basically nice done, and right? pink. That's, that's, uh, we're done? No, we're not done. <laughs> not any. We're just, we're just warming up. That's we're exactly We're slowly it. warming Perfect. up. Perfect. So as you can see, there's, uh, there's a little, some action happening in there. So we're going to uh, we're gonna we're gonna spend get some going. Time. We're going to spend a little bit of time. Um, but you said always this is not just for athletes. It's for everybody, No, too, it's personally. absolutely for everybody. Um, yeah, it's... Ah. <laughs> And I think that Deep people, breath. yeah, I'll be okay. <laughs> Trust me, if I was lightheaded, you would know. I'd just be, I'd be facing down or, and or already off the bench. But, uh, I mean, this is still covered for massage therapy, right? Because you do Absolutely. this Absolutely. I, I utilize it uh, in my practice, so it is part of the massage therapy. So um, it is a modality that uh, m massage therapists can utilize. Um, there's also some, you know, there's other practitioners in, uh, in town that do do this. Yeah. Um, but in their practice, they don't necessarily work specifically. On well, this is the best grass I've ever had, so you're, uh, you're doing great. <laughs> it's also the worst, but in a good way. Now, in terms of, like, benefits, so obviously I know that you're, you're getting significantly deeper. Um, mm -hmm. As opposed to, like, just a, a traditional deep tissue massage, do you find that results are faster? Like, do you, uh, just because the breakdown is so much greater of that, uh, of the adhesions and knots. Yeah, so I tend to, uh, when I'm working with someone, I couple it with, I do some stretching, because yeah. always after you've done had grass in, you need to do some stretching, because yeah. we're essentially breaking up, like creating micro tears in the area, uh, and bringing blood flow and nutrient flow. So we want you to stress, because uh, stretch, because, yeah. you know, essentially, you know, your muscles ideally should look like I always say to my Some clients, like cooked spaghetti, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry, they, they, you want to look like, like uncooked spaghetti, so everything is straight and lined. Straight. What's happening is we're getting out all the stuff that looks like cooked spaghetti that's all like a big adhesion and a big knot. Everybody calls them knots, but they're adhesions. Yes. So uh, that's all essentially all the fascia, all the fascial tissue sticking together. So we're breaking that up. Cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this is... So this tool is usually, this is the warm-up tool. Wow. So, <laughs> so this is a warm-up tool. We're definitely getting... So it's like all like broken blood cell, uh, blood vessels that are... So that's there? essentially just, we are, that's like essentially like could be stagnant blood that has been in the area. We're breaking up the adhesions, uh, increasing the flow of uh, blood and uh, essentially drawing blood to the area. Um, so this is a warm-up tool. I'm going to move on to the next tool. Good. Why wouldn't we? So uh, the difference between the two tools is this is concave, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit softer. It's this convex. is convex. It's going to go a little bit deeper. I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. That's oh. it. Something like that. Let's go for it. Oh yeah. Just uh, remember to breathe. Yeah, breathe. Don't hold your breath. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're going blue in the face and fall over. You know. So I'm gonna get you to kind of stretch your yeah. head just a little bit there. Oh my god. <laughs> Did not see that coming. Sorry. Ah. Yeah. Do most people like grunt and? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Scream. Uh, there is some heavy breathing. Um, <laughs> there's uh, a lot of uh, grunting. A lot of grunting, mouth breathing. I actually do have a client who uh, tends Screams. to fall asleep. Uh, falls, <laughs> I just say, falls asleep. I have, a, I have a client who falls asleep. Uh, he's so used to it, he falls asleep, uh, which is kind of funny. That is um, actually very bizarre. And then uh, I won't be the one to fall asleep. I oh have uh, one client who I cannot treat when the other clinicians are in the office because he makes too much noise. Wow. That might be me. So, which is, you know, uh, usually your first time having grass in, it's... Which is why this is so great. Well, it's something new. You haven't it's done it before. It's, it's like you're introducing a new element to your body. Right? Yeah, it's, it's the same thing when you try a new lift, yeah. um, a new weight. It's something new. You're challenging your body. I did acupuncture yesterday for my lower back. And I'm surprised you can't see like the, the railroad spikes that you put in my back. I'm pretty sure they weren't just acupuncture. So I did not <laughs> handle pain well. Baby. You're not oh doing too God. bad. Oh, you're doing really good. Actually. Mm -hmm. Those aren't tears coming out of my right eye. I've been squinting. I've been closing my eyes hard, so it's not tears. <laughs> I might like cry tears of joy when it's over, but I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. Okay. 
It, actually, I think it looks worse than what it actually Probably. is. It, it literally yeah. just feels like a tool's just being rubbed across your body. It's, it's just... So. Okay, Mike. Just a little sass talk from the trainer. <laughs> it's like payback. So if you actually... I guess you can't see it, but... So... We're getting a bit of, right in there. There's some... Some gunk? Right there. You feel... Can you yeah. Oh, yeah. Feel yeah, that? I noticed yeah. it, yeah. A little gumball in there. Yeah, just a little one. And I guess again, like a bruise, it depends on the individual in terms of absolutely. recovery, like when how. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Some people, um, like I said myself, uh, you bruise like a peach. I bruise like a peach, and it <laughs> sticks with me for a while. Yeah. Um, some people, um, usually twenty four hours. And that's uh, gone. They're they're gone. It's good to go. So, yeah. And you just go till you like break down all of the. Yeah, we don't want to go. Um, I mean, you don't want to go like full bore for a full length of time, because um, you don't want to. You know, you don't want to fatigue the client. You also no. don't want to fatigue anything else. Um, so it, essentially, you're just. You know, I always try to lull everybody, give them a nice. Death. <laughs> yeah. I lull everybody a little bit. You I'm know, uh, a little again. soothingness yeah. uh, in between. A little reprieve. A little reprieve. Because um, it can be, uh, depending on the spot, it can be fairly irritating. Yeah, that's another thing too. I know we were talking about maybe doing like my sub scap, and yeah. I think that that, as neat as it is, for my first time, I'm happy we're not doing that. Yeah. Stick with the trap. We'll stick with the trap. Stick my with feet the would be just kicking straight up in the air. <laughs> and sub scap is like the most painful area. Oh, yeah, it's super to work tender out. just because you need to. Uh, you need to really dig in there, and so and you need to warm up everything around there. So. You know, I do have clients where I go into their subs cap, and, oh. and uh, I always thank them for not punching me after we oh, finished. Oh, yeah, I know that's so, the worst. Uh, so, I appreciate and them greatly. <laughs> so theoretically, I mean, uh, yeah. how many treatments are people coming in for? Are they using this as preventative, or is it usually they waited too long and now they're like, oh, crap, I'm actually really sore, jacked up, and I need to come see you? Um, it really depends. Uh, we have people that come, I have people that come on a regular basis, um, and they're yeah. doing it for... Uh, whatever benefits that they have uh, decided yep. they want. Um, for example, um, I have clients that come and see you like, you know, every three, four weeks, uh, yep. and they just have a regular massage and they incorporate <laughs> grass in, into the regular massage because we're just dealing with um, a certain scar from uh, a previous yep. uh, previous injury or a surgery. Um, and I have some people that come in specifically for uh, just to get grass in done. Um, I have like some power lifters and some bodybuilders, they come in uh, just to work on certain areas to just increase the health of yep. the muscle yeah. and the tissue. Um, it also, like specifically for bodybuilders, it helps them bring a better package to the stage, oh, which is say, really great. Yeah, this right? is uh, myofascial release on steroids. Like this is like to, I would say, yeah, like this is extreme. like I mean, I could, I do myofascial release all the time, yeah. but yeah, essentially this is. Yeah, we're not just foam rolling here. No. <laughs> no, we're not just foam rolling. So, this looks intimidating. It's a gigantic crowbar. It, <laughs> it's the most amazing thing in the world. It feels fabulous on your quads. feels fa fa fabulous on your lats. Um, also feels, I find it feels pretty good on your traps as well. Um, I do grass in on myself all the time and do my legs all the You're time. You're <laughs> I can't find anybody to do it. <laughs> Nobody does this up here. Uh. So it's super cold, so I'm just going to warm it up. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to get you to look down there. I feel like the cold is going to be the least amount of worries. So. It doesn't be worse than that, actually, I won't lie. Or maybe you're just putting like 5% of your weight or 5% pressure in, but. Like you're smiling, I can feel your smile back there. Like, <laughs> you're like, he doesn't just, even know. He doesn't even know nodded, what's coming yet. I just nodded at Jess, I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, you couldn't, you couldn't push any easier. <laughs> From a scale of zero to 10, she's about at a one. <laughs> yeah, she's actually drinking coffee with the other hand. Yeah. She's, doing, she's, doing, she's, she's using doing her pinky hand, I'm right having now. a nap. I'm yeah. <laughs> Stretching out my calves. Just texting on the other <laughs> side. Yeah. So. so 
So yeah. So that's a super, super quick treatment. Mm -hmm. So you can, so we have a little uh, petechia happening back here, up at the attachment. Yeah, I can feel it there too. But yeah, your upper trap is uh, a little jacked. <laughs> that's where, well there's, yeah, there's a little bit, you've got like right in there, yeah. there's some stuff. So yeah, so that's a very basic quick treatment. So if people are looking to get obviously in touch with you and actually do like full bone treatments and actually get yeah. like the, an actual real uh, session, like how, how would they get a hold of you? Like what's the best way to get in um, contact with you? So they can contact me via myself. Yeah. Um, I just need to put... Yeah, I'll put all the contact information um, down below so you guys can make sure you check yeah. it out. Contact my office. Um, I have a lot of people who contact me through social media as well, which is totally cool. Um, so social media, sell, call my office, um, or I'm always here. Yep. Yeah, true <laughs> enough. Literally, I'm always here at the basement. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, they, absolutely. So yeah, and if they, if you know, if anybody has any questions, they can absolutely contact me and ask questions. Of, uh, Cool. So, guys, if you are looking for something, uh, be it an athlete or not, but if you, if you are looking for something that's a, obviously a little more aggressive and to really speed up the, the process of, of, of recovery, or if you are experiencing an injury, or uh, you just feel like it's something you want to experience for yourself, reach out. Either get a hold of us, get a hold of Morag, and uh, give it a try. That was not that bad. I mean, I, I think you're also your 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 pressure was not. Bit, no, I was being a little bit gingerly. I didn't want to. Yeah. Ma embarrassing on uh, yeah, anyone. But uh, I can already tell you though, right now that I mean. Me putting a lacrosse ball and, and jamming my shoulder into it to, to work my, my trap, uh, I, I, you're not usually able to do it hard enough to yourself to the, to the extent yeah. that you would need. So actually having somebody do it to you where you're actually, you just only have to focus on your breathing and, and, and it being done, you're going to, I can tell you right now, it's just exponentially uh, better treatment. Yeah, so. yeah. It's, and you never go as hard on yourself as somebody else would. So, I mean, I'll openly admit it. I don't go hard on my quads as... Yeah the therapist that I see in Ottawa. I don't go anywhere near as hard on myself as he does. Yeah. So. Cool, there you have it. All right, yeah. guys. So feel free, reach out to Morag ourselves. Uh, keep watching. If you do like this, make sure please do like the video, subscribe to our channel. If you have any other questions or any other videos you want to see, comment down below and keep me back yesterday.